Hi, my name is Felipe Schmidt, and I'm part of the ServiceNow Solution Architecture team at ITSM Group. Have you ever had the challenge to add records to an update set, but those records are not captured by out of the box? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add any record to an update set, and this might help you to avoid any problem to transport those records to any instance you want. Let me show you. Let's talk about a scenario. I want to transport some kind of record to other instances in ServiceNow so that I can accomplish the life cycle of the deployment. For that, we have many ways. The usual way is to simply use update sets to transport. But let's say groups, for example, they are not captured in update sets. So for this reason, how can you add groups to update sets? There is one way which you can simply use by simply selecting a record, exporting the XML, and then you can simply import this record in the other instances. For example, let's say this instance here is my development instance, and you can simply take this, go to your test or prod instance, and import this XML by simply clicking right-click, import XML, and then choosing the file that you have just exported. So this method here has some limitations. Let's say, for example, you don't have access to test or production environment on, on a client. You cannot simply access the instance and import this XML. This is one issue that you might face. The second issue here is if you want to make track of all the records that you're pushing through the instances, by doing this export and import, you're not making this possible. Therefore, the recommended way is always to push stuff via update sets. Therefore, I have a second option for you that might help you a lot. Let's say we want to push some groups to an update set that I've just created. Let's push all of those groups that starts with app. I have created them and I want to push them to my current update set so this can be pushed to test and prod environments. Let's do this. I have prepared one script here which I just need to give what is the table name and what is the query? So all the records that I want to push to my current update set. The whole magic here and the main part of this script are those two lines here. All the rest here is only to make it simple for you to reuse it everywhere. This is an out of the box script include that helps you to simply add stuff and use, for example, as I'm using here in the line 10, to save a record to the current update set you have. In our current example, we want to add those groups here to the current update set. Based on the script that we have, we need to set the table that we want to add and also the query that we want to add. So we are adding all the current records to the update set. Let's copy the query here by using the copy query that might support us. And also let's copy the table name from the URL so that we can simply post here and this will help us. In order to verify what our update set contains, let's check it first. And we see that we only have this right now. And we are going to run here to see what happens. Right now we have three records that were added. If we refresh here this page, we are going to see that now our records were simply added. So three groups that were added to this update set, which is our current one. Here is very important to notice, as I mentioned many times, this is going to add the records to your current update set. So if you are working on a default update set or any other update set, this is going to add in your current one. And now let's speak about why this is important. So basically sometimes, as I mentioned in the first scenario that we had, by using export and import functionalities, sometimes you don't have access to all the other instances. And this method exactly fits this need. So you don't have to have access and you are a developer who has only access to development instance. Then you can simply take care about your update set and everything is in there. You can simply close your update set and any other team can simply take care about deploying that in test or the prod instances. It's also very important to notice that I've seen many clients using this add to update set utility. In a nutshell, Let's say we want to add groups in here. Again, let's say we want to add the app groups. We can simply select all of them. And whenever you select here, 
you would have add to update set UI action means that whenever you click there, all those three records here would be also added to your current update set. This add to update set utility would also do the same as the script is doing. But here you also have additional functionalities. For example, whenever you add a group to an update set via this method of the script that I've just shown you here, this is not adding any members to the update set. This is not adding any roles to the update set. And with this, add to update set utility here, this UI action, it also has some functionalities included that might also help you in this situation. Hope you have enjoyed the video and this can help you to code smarter. Thank you, take care and goodbye.